What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. One of the things we talk about a lot on this channel is graphics cards, graphics card mining, and a hot topic here has been the LHR cards. Uh, the LHR cards, you know, I for me, they've been a big topic for you guys. You guys seem to enjoy discussing the LHR, uh, you know, variants that are out there. And so we actually have this article here from, believe it or not, NiceHash that says how to distinguish between LHR and FHR, <laughs> full hash rate graphics cards. Nobody calls them FHRs. Come on now. Um, so we're going to take a look at this article. I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on it. Before I do this, I want you guys to do a couple things for me. First, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. If you guys have been here watching a couple of my videos, you enjoy the content, do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Almost at a thousand subs. Very, very close. It's very exciting. And I want you guys to leave a comment. And my question to you guys, do you have an LHR card? If you have an LHR card, I want you to do me a favor. Because the more information that we share together as a community, the more information we have and we can grow. So yeah, the more information that we share together, the more that we can grow and, and the more information that we just have as a community. Uh, this is what I want you to do. Go into your bios and I, in your bios, if you have an LHR and those of you who don't have LHRs, okay, if you don't have an LHR, I want you to do this too. Go into, not your bios, but download, um, what is it, uh, Tech TechZ? I, I, I always forget the name of it. The, uh, Tech Power Up, GPU-Z. Okay, I want you to download GPU-Z if you don't have it. I want you to run it, and I want you to tell me the information that is in your graphics cards. I want you to tell me the BIOS of the graphics cards, and I want you to tell me the device, uh, is it the de device ID? I want you to tell me the device ID for that graphics card. That way, we know the difference between the LHR and non-LHR variants. And I'm going to tell you why that is as we take a look at this article. So go do that for me. I'd appreciate that. Not just for me, but for everybody else, because so many people who are asking questions. Well, let's get to the article. How to distinguish between LHR and full hash rate graphics cards. In the last couple of weeks, there has been a lot of confusion regarding light hash rate graphics cards or older full hash rate cards. In this post, we're going to try to explain to distinguish between the LHR and, and full hash cards. This, this is why I want you guys to go into the BIOS of your GPU and tell me what BIOS you're running and tell me the device ID. Okay, this is why. Because those two things are not listed in here. And that's very important because the LHR variants are actually the easiest way to distinguish them would be due to the BIOS and the device ID. So we just need to figure out what those are and we, we're good to go. We know what what uh what to look for as far as the, the graphics cards go anyways i'm going on a rant here but i don't I, let's keep going it's important to note that all rtx 3060s and and i've I, i've said this many times to you guys in the comments because you guys keep insisting why didn't evga change the uh change the the product number the product code for the 3060s and that's because the 3060s were always intended to be LHR. Same thing with the 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti. Those cards, all those cards were always meant to be LHR. So you're not going to see a variation in the product codes. That's why I need you guys to go and do me that favor and go into the BIOS and get the information that I asked. Uh, these cards have been LHR since day one. There's an asterisk next to the 3060. These models will, were never fully unlocked. Only the RTX 3060 Ti, 3070, and 3080 are potentially full hash rate cards, while the 3090 will always be full hash rate cards as far as we know. The first batch of 3060s were that were LHR model was able to reach full hash rate with the leaked NVIDIA drivers. Yes, this we know. Uh, so it goes to list out the models here. 3090, full hash rate. 3080, light hash. Uh, 3080, or I'm sorry, 3080 Ti light, ha light hash rate, 3080 full hash or light hash if it was released after May 2021. Uh, 3070 Ti light hash only, 3070, same deal as the 3080, 3060 Ti, th same deal as the 3080, uh, 3060, and we already, already went over that. How to check if a new graphics card is LHR or full hash rate. 
If you're buying a GPU after July 2021, it will most likely be an LHR model. Uh, for example, I bought my 3060. I almost said 3070. I don't have a 3070. I bought my 3060 uh, in... I actually bought it in May. Uh, right before we moved into the, the new house here. I actually bought it in May. And uh, it was LHR when I got it. Um, so here we go. Uh... If you bought it, it most likely will be an LHR. Every NVIDIA graphics card sold after late May in 2021 is an LHR model. All the old stock is most likely sold out. You can still double check by check the GPU description. Most of the resellers have LHR notice written somewhere on the product description. That is true. Uh, again, buying new graphics cards. Check the GPU model on the above table. The GPU models are guaranteed to be LHR, such as 3060, 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti. These models are always LHR. Uh, check for LHR name on the box of the GPU. They'll put a sticker on the box. I have I don't, my the box for my 3060 is in the garage. The 3060s do not have a sticker. Okay, these are only for the ones that had that had released that didn't have the LHR on them. Okay, so the GPU boxes will have a sticker on them or have something that says LHR on it. How to check if a used graphics card is LHR or full hash rate. This can be a little bit more tricky compared to buying new cards. The older RTX 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080 models have the potential to be full hash rate cards. Ask seller for a copy of the invoice. Seller's not going to give you a copy of the invoice. If they do, awesome. But most likely they don't have it. They got lost or whatever. Uh, look for the date of purchase. If the card was bought before July 2021, then the chance of GPU is... That's not true. As I said, as I just said, my... 3060 that I bought in May, and I bought it early May, is LHR. Okay? So that is not entirely true. Ask the seller to send you a picture of the box. They can send you a picture of the box. The sticker could be taken off. If it was a sticker. Most of them are stickers. That sticker can be taken off. Make sure the serial number on the card matches the one on the box. Check that the box is labeled with LHR identifier. Uh, note that this does not necessarily mean that the card is full hash rate as some of the first LHR cards did not have LHR identifier on the box. Test the graphics card. It's the most reliable method of making sure the card is full hash rate, but it might be difficult to actually test the GPU from a distant seller. Okay, test the graphics card. See, okay, uh, this was written by Marco Tarman and no offense to Marco. No offense to Marco. All you got to do is just ask them to send you the BIOS information. If it's a 3060 LHR, I'm going to tell you right now, 3060 LHR BIOS. We go over here. This is uh, off of Reddit, by the way. If you go off over here, device ID on a 3060 LHR will say uh, 10 DE to, uh, 2504. The 2504 is LHR light hash rate. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my GPU-Z. Give me one moment here. So this is my own 3060. Notice something similar. Device ID 10DE2504. And you can see right there, release date, May 18th, 2021. Same as this person's uh, 3060. They have a Zotac. I have an EVGA. So that is, for 3060s, that is a way to know is the device ID and the release date. You get those two, then that's how you know you have an LHR for 3060. So that's what I want you guys to do for me, is pull that up. Show me the release date, show me the device ID, show me the BIOS version. Right here, you see the BIOS version? Now their BIOS version is a slightly earlier one than my own, but that's still fine. That, I mean, the device ID matches with mine. The release date matches with mine. That means they have an LHR variant. I have an LHR variant. Uh, here is another way to tell. This is over on uh, Tech Power Up. So they even show you right here, Tech Power Up, the LHR variant. And I, I'm going to go into the BIOS collection and probably another video, but I'm going to go into the BIOS collection. I'm going to go through every single one of them to see if they match up at all. So going over here, I'm gonna move, well, don't really have a spot to move it to, but here I'll shrink it. Okay, so sh I shrunk it right there. You see right here, device ID, 2504. Okay, that's that's what we're looking for. If you, if your card says, and if, if it's a 3060, 
if it says 2504 or if you're buying a used one from somebody ask them to run the tech gpu if it says 2504 that is a lhr on the 3060 so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate it i will probably do a follow-up on this uh just to see if we can go ahead and get some more information out of this uh it's gonna take me a little bit to get through this but the easiest way to help me out here guys do what i asked thank you so much for watching i appreciate it everybody hit the thumbs up subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next video happy mining guys